Welcome to the fourth C in the program, Sail the Seven Seas to Sensational Storytelling. In the first three videos, you learned about circumstances, characters, and conflict. The fourth C is the climax scene. This is the part of the story that the audience has been waiting for. It's why they've invested all their time and emotion. This is the scene that actually leads to the big change, which is your fifth C. We'll hear about that in the next video. But this is the moment that the lesson is learned. It's learned by the characters, and as an extension, it's where your audience learns the lesson also. It's the payoff for giving you the time to listen to your story. I find that most speakers actually have this scene in their stories. What they tend to do, though, is they fail to capitalize on the full benefit and grab the audience emotionally right after they introduce the climactic moment. There's one key to this that you cannot forget. If you want to connect with your audience, you cannot be the guru or the hero that provides the lesson. This is the biggest challenge and the biggest problem I see for most speakers. Now, whether it's intentional or not, I don't know. I, I think most people through ignorance just assume they have to be the hero. But when you are the person that provides the lesson, I think it disconnects you from your audience. It's better off if someone else or some other object teaches the lesson. For example, in the story about Judy, you heard in an earlier video, those are actually two parallel stories. There was Judy and the tragedy that she dealt with, and there was me and the frustration and negative feelings I had about my role as an insurance advisor. The climactic scene for me, or for us in that story, is what? It's the moment when Judy, holding that check, realizes that financially, she's going to be okay. She understands in that moment that she'll be able to keep her business, that those employees that depend on her will keep their jobs. For me, it's a moment when I realize that life insurance, in the minute that it's needed, it's a good thing. Judy, in a sense, is the guru of this story, but the real teacher is an inanimate object. It's the check. The check represents the safety and security that Judy desperately needed in that moment when her whole world had been turned upside down. I was the student, not the guru. And because of that, audiences feel much more connected and close to me. And the same thing will happen to you if you avoid this issue of being the guru or the hero and let someone else teach you the lesson. Fairly short lesson this time, this is the climactic moment, but it is the key, it's the payoff that the audience has been waiting for. So your assignment is to pinpoint the climactic moment in your story, the moment where the lesson is learned. Ask your audience or your people giving you feedback, what is the key element in this story? Where did that lesson get learned? Get your feedback. Test it, try it again. In the next video, as I've already uh, referenced, you're going to learn about change, which is really what the audience needs to experience and what will motivate them to take action on your message. Go out and test your climactic moment. And as always, remember that you have a story that someone needs to hear.